Okay. We have some packages to open. This is only two out of the four packages that are coming this weekend, so I thought I would just, I, I just, I can't wait. So we're gonna open the two and then we'll open the rest when they come. Okay, so the first package, this was actually ordered. This, this package right here is gonna seem kind of random compared to the rest of the packages. It's because it was a last minute thought, so still very important. I mean, not very important, but it's, it's gonna help me. So basically, I decided to make some big purchases because my lifestyle has changed a little with this new job that I have. And um, I just want to make my life a little bit easier. But also, I'll, I'll talk about it in just a second. Let me just, let me start with this first. Okay, so basically this, I don't know if you guys can see that, but they are little glass jars. I hope that this works for what I'm wanting to use them for, but basically, I want to do overnight oats in these. I wanted a cute jar because I feel like it will encourage me to actually meal prep. <laughs> so yeah, I want to do overnight oats. I have never had overnight oats before. That sounds like me purchasing things before I even try it. Here's the thing, with this new job. I really need to have something for breakfast before I go into work and I don't, I already have to get up really early in the morning so I'm trying to make my life easier and already have breakfast done so that all I have to do is just grab it and I can eat it on the go because I want to eat it as close to my shift as possible because there's some shifts where I don't get to eat like at all until I get off or until like the end of the day and you know halfway through a 24 hour shift so that's why i want to make sure that i have a good breakfast so at least something that will like give me good energy for the first half of my day so that's why i got three of these jars so that i can start having overnight oats um so i can do that and grab a yogurt and it's great now the rest of the stuff that i got is it really has to do with fitness so I do have a gym membership, but I absolutely hate the gym. I feel really uncomfortable at the gym. Like I know, I think I, maybe I've talked about this in a previous video, but I know that it's always, it's hard for everyone to start going to the gym at first, but it doesn't change for me. Like I literally feel so, I, my social anxiety just like skyrockets when I go to the gym and I just, it's just never going to happen. I'm never going to be consistent because I, that's how much I freaking hate the gym. I love working out and like I, I have goals and I want to do them. It has nothing to do with being lazy. It has everything to do with me feeling so uncomfortable at the gym that I can't even force myself to go. And when I do force myself to go, I want to cry. <laughs> Not really, but like the whole time I'm there, I just hate it and I'm never productive because I just feel so deeply uncomfortable. So I invested in myself, but also on top of that, sorry, before I keep going on with this. I also decided ultimately to invest in some of these things because I get home at weird times. Like for example, 24 hour shifts, I get home in the morning and usually I want to sleep the rest of the day, you know, the day following the 24 hour shifts. But it would be nice to be able to come home, take a nap, wake up, do a little workout, not have to worry about going to the gym. Like it's just, it's just gonna make my life a lot easier and more convenient, but also I'm actually gonna get my workouts done and follow through with my goals because I, I can do it in the comfort of my own home. So I decided to make some big purchases. This isn't all the equipment, but this is what I felt comfortable purchasing right now. And then with my next paycheck, I'm gonna get the other items as well. Just to give you guys a little understanding of what my goals are. So I'm starting my journey with calisthenics for one. So there's a couple pieces of equipment that will help me with that journey. But also, I do want to still lift weights. And then on top of that, um, I do want to get back into running. And I also am going to start Muay Thai training as well. I have a friend that I used to work with at Equinox that does Muay Thai training. And I asked him to give me privates. Um, I also might do some drop-in classes at a gym that he goes to as well. So those are kind of what my goals are. So now that I've said that, let's go ahead and dive into the first of many packages to help me achieve these goals. Oh, hold on. Ew. Okay. okay. Oh my gosh. I didn't think this through. 
Okay. Whoa. Okay, basically this whole box is just this. That's how you know our planet is not in a good state. Oh, oh, oh my. Unnecessary. Let me just say that. Amazon, unnecessary. I love you, but holy frick. <laughs> That didn't, that, that didn't need to be a thing. I'm sorry, disappointed. You put this in a giant box full of plastic. Why? <clears throat> you made your own decision. Okay, so this is actually heavier than I was expecting it to be. This is a pull-up bar. This is really going to help me on my calisthenics journey. I suck at pull-ups, basically like everyone who doesn't do pull-ups on a regular basis, but I'm really excited to be that badass girl that can do just so many pull-ups in a row because I will get to that point. Marking these words right now, I'll be referencing this video in the future when I'm able to do a ton of pull-ups. This is actually pretty cool. I'm going to open this. Oh, hold on just a second. I'm gonna open this up right now so I can show you guys what's inside because there's actually more than just a pull-up bar. So obviously this pull-up bar, I need to assemble it. Then on top of that, this is actually what sold me. This is also, this is the cheapest pull-up bar you can find on Amazon. It's only, I think like $30, $35 or $25. I don't know. And then there's all these other pull-up bars that are like $60 and it doesn't come with all this extra stuff. So. You know, be smart with your purchases. So it comes with Jeff, my dude, what are you doing today? Like, what are you doing? Are you moving out? Like, holy frick. It's like he's just moving his couch back and forth, back and forth all day long. Anyway, it comes with two resistance bands, which is so cool, oh my gosh. And then it comes with like handles that you can attach to it so you can do like row stuff and whatnot. Um, maybe I'll show you guys in the future how I use this. Um, and then this is like what you attach it to. You put it on the other side of the door so it sticks there, you know what I mean? And then you can like use it to do like rows and resistance band training. It's really cool. That's what sold me to be honest. I'm so excited. The last two packages came. They actually came yesterday, but I was gone most of yesterday on a hike with a friend. So we're opening them today. Almost there. Can I open the sides? Not really. Okay, that's fine. Ooh. Okay. So, this package is a very exciting one. Wow, this is... Okay, yes, that's all. Shove this over there. What we have here, I need to assemble it, and I will be showing all of the items fully assembled at the end of this video. This is for calisthenics. This is like the two bars that will help me to be able to practice my dips and certain holds and techniques that go with that. Where should I put this? All right, this next one's gonna take me a minute. Okay, this one I legit don't know how I should open it. Does it tell me which one is the bottom? This one's very heavy. You guys should have seen me trying to move this package from the lobby to our apartment. It was not easy and it was a very slow process. I'm really glad that no one came out of their apartment while I was doing it because I looked so ridiculous. I'll insert a video so you guys can see. kind of nervous about because this was the most expensive out of everything I got I've been wanting this for a really long time but I've been pushing off actually getting it because it's pricey I got one that was more 
on the cheaper side, you can definitely get ones that are way more expensive. It just depends on the amount of weight that you get. So what this is, <laughs> this is a weight set. So this one I believe goes up to 95 pounds, which I feel like that's fine for me right now. Okay, so like we have a bar right here. Okay, we have two bars. Are these the barbells? Or, wait, are these the dumbbells? Because those are huge. <laughs> okay, so I know this is the attachment for the barbell. We have the little screws. We have um, a kettlebell. And this is the top of the kettlebell. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god. Oh, and there's all the weights. I'll give you guys a sneak peek of what the weights look like. They look like this. I don't really know how much you guys can see, but um, they're honestly very aesthetically pleasing. I definitely wasn't expecting the dumbbell to be this long, but it makes sense because if you want to add more weights onto it. Okay, I don't remember exactly how many of each weights we have, so let's figure that out. So we have 4.4. I think we have four of the 4.4s. Guys, I looked at a lot of different weight sets, so I, that's why I can't really remember. I just know that this one honestly was the best deal out of all of them. I feel like price to weight ratio, this was the best one. Also, it just aesthetically matches my apartment better. You know, that's the thing with weights is that most of them are like kind of ugly colors that most people, it wouldn't match their their living space. It's like black and yellow. And like the, the color that's not black is always like really bold. Black and yellow or like black and orange, like just, it's just like very much not like a homey color. So I was really happy that I found a good weight set that actually looked good too, because look, we live in a small space, so, the weights are going to be out, they're going to be seen. We don't have like closet space here. Maybe I can make some space like in our closet where our clothes go, but honestly, I hate when like where my clothes go. I hate it when it's like overly crowded because then it's kind of hard to see your clothes and then you just end up wearing the same thing all the time. So we have four, 4.4, 4. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes, eight, 5.5, 5, and then four, six pound. So 4.4, 5.5, six. Also, it makes me so mad that this is 4.4. Like, why can't it be 4.5? Or just four, and this can be just five or something. You know, like, why do they do that? One moment, I have to get that on my TikTok. Okay, guys, so we have four, 4.4, eight, 5.5, and four, six pound. Overall, I honestly think that this is going to be a great start to my at-home setup. So I'm really excited and I will keep you guys updated. If you have any questions on this set, if you're looking to get a set, I'm happy to answer your questions. And uh, I'm really excited to try these out. What are, what are we doing? <laughs> let's, um, let's play around with this. Let's just see how all of this works. Guys, I am seriously, I'm so excited about this. I really am. I freaking hate the gym, so I'm so happy that I actually get to work out from home. I guess just put like two of these on here. Does this just like go all the way on? Oh. I mean, it obviously can't go all the way. Are you supposed to put this on? I guess just as far as you can go, right? Okay. Oh, we know, because you have to be able to grab it, duh. This feels a little, like, unsturdy. I feel like if I'm going to use this, I almost feel like I need to, like, fill it the whole way. But I don't know. I might honestly be using this wrong. But that is that is the kettle bell demonstration right there. Let's just try adding more weight to it. Let's just put all of these on here. So I have four plates on there. Ah, that's much better. Whoa. 
That is so cool, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm curious how this attaches. Does it literally... Whoa. Okay, so right now I'm putting the... Um, the barbell attachment on. That, that doesn't make sense. Oh my gosh, I think you do. We're learning together, guys. We're learning together. Okay, so then if you put the other one in, is there enough space? <laughs> she, she's so cute. Okay, this is so dope. I now have a barbell. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. And it has padding on it, which is just so awesome. I love that. Okay, just for the sake of just, you know, making this quick and easy, we're just gonna add one weight. Ah, let's do two weights. Get some sort of workout in. Then you put your nut on the end. Oh, ho, ho. guys, I'm so happy with this. Holy frick. So easy to assemble. It really is. I know I'm being a goofball right now. I'm doing this crisscross, which is definitely making my life harder, but it's fine. It's fine. We're dealing with light weights. So I... Bless you. Very easy to assemble. Like, I'm really happy with this. And then obviously, the dumbbell would just be the same as the barbell. I just really wanted to see how the barbell was put together. This is just very functional. And again, like it's very aesthetically good looking. I like it. So that is the weight set. Let's jump into the next piece of equipment. You are so cute. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Has a lot of hair on it since, you know, dogs. <laughs> so this is the pull-up bar. It's basically the model that's been around forever. <laughs> I was actually really hesitant to get this one because I am always afraid of doing pull-ups with bars like these and falling. Like I'm, I'm seriously scared of that happening. It does come with like a little safety thing that you can put at the top of your doorway and it helps like keep it there, but I haven't figured out how to install that. Anyway, so I'm excited about this, but what I think is really cool about this is that it came with some extra things that the more expensive pull-up bars don't come with. It comes with these TheraBands. So I think I might've already said this when I was unboxing it, but I wanted to just show you guys. So there's two TheraBands. One of them I think is equivalent to 30 pounds and the other is like 20 pounds. Um, at least that's what it said. <laughs> So it has these little hooks on the end here. Sorry, there's literally hair everywhere. Where you can attach these. They are little handles to be able to like do rows or like resistance type things. And this is where you loop them through here and put this on the other side of your door, close your door, and then that's how it works like that. So I will be showing you guys these things in action. I think when I do, my next workout, I'm going to probably film me just using all this equipment so you guys can actually see it being used and what it's like. And I'm going to let you guys know what I like about it and what I don't like. And if I would purchase it again or if I would go with something else. These are the Calisthenics like dip bars. I don't really know like the proper term. I honestly think it might be that dip bars. <laughs> so these are going to be for a little crooked there. These are going to be to help me with like, I think you're supposed to have them pretty close to each other, but having holds like this and dipping down, I'm not even going to try because I'm very weak right now. I need to work up to that. But the cool thing is, is that you can also use them for different things. I'm still like a little skeptical of this. Like I have a hard time trusting equipment sometimes, especially if I put it together. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you can use it to kind of do like the parallel like pull-ups like this. That one kind of scares me on this equipment just because I feel like it's going to tip over. But honestly, I just need to have a little bit more faith that this is going to hold me. So yeah, there's a lot that I can do with this. You can also tip it on its side and do like a little bit of an elevated uh, push-up. I've, I've seen people like put their feet up here and then they do a decline push-up, but 
again, it's just like really how comfortable I feel with this. I think I'll probably just start off with doing like holds and scalpula dips and then do like normal dips and then maybe I'll start to do like experiment with the other exercises but I think I just need to build a little bit of trust with this. Yeah, so I'm so excited that I have all of this. I cannot wait to start my workouts. Okay, so that is all of my equipment. I'm honestly so excited to start. I'm just I'm finally at a point where I'm like, I just want to invest in myself. I want to invest in my health and therefore in my future. I want to be able to be a healthy and strong person so that one, I can do my job well. I can take care of patients without feeling like I'm going to drop them or put them in harm. But I also want to be healthy and fit because I want to be able to accomplish goals that I've honestly always thought, oh, that would be cool, but I've never taken it seriously because I've never been healthy enough or strong enough to actually do that. And when I say healthy, I mean like in shape. The last time I was like in shape was in high school. <laughs> I'm going to share this right now because I know a lot of people can relate. In high school and growing up, when I was a kid, a teenager, I was really strong and I was in shape. And I thought that I would always be that way because I grew up in a very active family. We were always doing something that inevitably it just made me a really strong person. And so I thought I would always be strong and I'd always be fit. But here I am feeling very out of shape. I am out of shape and I am not very strong. I don't have a lot of muscle to me anymore. In the past year, I've actually seen myself gain weight and I've never seen myself gain weight before. I feel weird talking about it because obviously I'm not overweight, but I'm also not like skinny. <laughs> so I'm in like this weird in between where I feel like I can't really talk about it because anytime I tell someone like oh I've gained weight this past year like I can see it in myself like my arms are bigger my face has become more round like my stomach I have love handles on me like this is the first time in a while I've worn leggings and right now like I feel uncomfortable in them because my body isn't how it was before so I just kind of wanted to say that and remind you guys that you're not alone if you were someone who back in the day you were in shape and now you're not it happens to most of us but now i think it's just asking yourself what are you gonna do to change that if you want to change it some people don't really care and that's fine it means a lot to me because of my job and because of certain goals that i really would love to make a reality but also because I want to be able to be healthy for not only my future kids, but my future grandkids. I want to be able to feel like I can do stuff with them. So there's a lot of reasons why I want to take care of my body. I just want to live a life where I feel good. And right now, this past year, I've been feeling really unhealthy because I haven't been taking care of myself. I, my diet has been complete crap. Like it has been so bad. I have, Never have I gotten to a point where I don't eat that many vegetables. There's not a lot of vegetables in my diet and it's really bad. But we have definitely become those people that eats out a lot and, well, most places that you choose to eat out, it's not healthy food. So, yeah, I have not been taking care of myself this past year and I see it. And I see the effects of not taking care of myself. So that's why right now, I just decided I'm going to invest. Yes, I dropped some money on this stuff and do I like the price tag? No, but do I know it's going to help me to just finally push and attain those goals that I want to reach? Yes, I actually think it will help me because I know I've tried. I know that the gym does not work for me. So let's problem solve. Let's figure out what I can do that I will feel comfortable with and confident and I will actually stick to it. So that's why I am putting together a little home gym for myself so that I can work towards these goals that I really want to achieve. I'm hoping a year from now I can look back and see a lot of progress that I've made because I was consistent. I just want to be consistent and I have not yet been able to do that because I always let my social anxiety get in the way or I just overthink things. So I just want to stop overthinking I now have my own equipment and I can make it happen. So yeah, if you're feeling stuck, figure out what it is that you need to tweak to maybe make it a little bit better. It's still going to be hard for me to stick to this. No matter what, it is hard to stick to plans. 
no matter what, it is hard to stick to stuff like this. It that's why we call them goals you know you have to push and you have to stay consistent and it's not easy so i know just because i got all this equipment it doesn't make my life easier it doesn't make achieving the goal easier or quicker but i do feel like i have a better chance of being consistent and a better chance of wanting to work out even on the days that i don't want to work out so that's just what i wanted to share and uh, i will definitely keep you guys updated on this journey I am really excited to document this. I think it's going to be a really awesome journey.